Hello there, welcome. Um, this video shows you how to do a low bun on 4B stroke 4C natural hair. Enjoy! So I'm starting out with stretched hair. I did a blowout. I just used a blow dryer with heat protectant as usual. I don't know I'm making this face here. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so another way you can stretch out your hair is by doing braids or banding te technique. And if you'd like to see, uh, see that, uh, let me know. So I'm just using Eco Styler. Can you see those little flakes there? That's my dandruff just being a cute joy. But we move. Um, so I'm just applying gel. I divided this hair into three parts. And so that's the back. That's the, the last part there. Or more like the first part. And I'm just using gel to just, you know, hold that down. Use enough gel. Don't be like me. I'm very... I'm always like, oh, I don't want to use enough. I don't want to use so much. But... You need enough gel because you know for for a to for c hair it needs a lot of gel to be able to like be slick so don't don't be stingy and so now this second part is what i'm trying to you know bring down and make it smooth and stuff um yeah and use a brush because you can't skip it like just to make sure it's smooth and it's you know pressing down the way you want it to press down and yeah just use more gel Ignore that part, please. And now, in case you're wondering what I used to pack this, I used um, just like a regular wool that you use for your hair. And my, in hindsight, my advice is that you double up or even triple up on the thickness of the thread just to make sure you're holding your hair properly. Um, and so I'm just going in here like trying to tie the hair i found that this is the best way to actually make sure like you're holding like the whole of your hair because if you use just a regular hair tie or so i don't know what else you you usually use it doesn't hold it like down like tightly and well and so you're requiring something like thin that would hold it like properly but that's why you have to double up or triple up here yeah, i just use a single thread um, that's the one thing I'll change if I was to do this um, again, you know, double or triple up the thread and yeah. If you can see on this third part I did, I didn't use enough gel and it's the back isn't like going down the way as sleek as it's meant to be. Um, so my advice is just to use enough gel like you're trying to get a sleek bond. There's no two way around it. And so I've packed the whole thing together and I'm just like making sure it's like secure and tight. So now this is where you now start, you know, um, adding a bit more gel to make it slicker than usual and um, just use your brush now or your, your brush mostly, just start brushing like properly the way you'd like your hair to be. Um, if you have a toothbrush, you can also do this um, to do your edges and just, you know, go ham. So now at this point you can stop and just you know make your ponytail or your bun like you know nice if you're going for a natural like you know fullness but here i'm going to add something extra so because i want to add extra hair and protect my ends instead of just letting it out like this I am going to braid the ends of my hair instead and attach an artificial hair. And the artificial hair I'm using is synthetic hair. Um, I mean, it's affordable. I don't know why 
why not <laughs> so you know just braid your hair and tuck it in um, best to use like a bobby pin also watch out for the back of your hair make sure I didn't brush it because I couldn't see it so it's best to always you know have eyes at the back of your hair just to make sure the back is also like the nape area that's what I'm talking about now the hair I'm using is this cherish afro kinky bulk um, 24 inches and in color too because that's my hair color it's always best to use your hair color and now I'm going to show you how I made the the ponytail attachment here I'm using an elastic tie here and then I already attached you know um, the hair to it here but now I'm going to show you how I started it in the first place this is how this hair this particular hair comes in in but in like little bands and so you have to re remove the elastic band obviously and then find the middle of the hair because this is a crochet hair so find the middle of the hair and like you know separate it just to make sure it's not and with artificial with synthetic hair it tangles so pff, this is the downside of it I guess I'm showing you how to start it you get the synthetic hair and pass the whole hair through and then you create a loop in between and then pull that through so it's almost like you're trying to tie it in and it's super simple you can rewind to watch this video again just to make sure you've gotten what I've, I'm showing you and this is what you get when you keep adding more hair and then now you can add it add as much hair as you want I want a natural thickness to this look so I'm just going to you know add enough hair but you can make it way fuller than mine And this is what I ended up getting. It's super easy, it takes less than 10 minutes, and you're done. So, here, the hair I'm using, I'm now going to attach that to the back of my hair. But even before then, um, just to make sure it's not super tangled, I'm just trying to like comb the ends only just the ends because you're going to spend a lot of time if you try and comb the whole thing there's no need for that see how full it is you can make it fuller or less full anyone you want so just attach that to the back of your hair make sure it's secured And then divide into two and do the first wrap I'm also trying to make sure that I cover my hair that is showing but it's also not a problem even if it pokes out because it's the same hair color as mine which is why it's important to use the same hair color that it's your hair type and then the second part then I'm just trying to wrap that around and cover it and just make a nice neat bun so it's a trial and error thing just keep you know folding and refolding and stretching and you know poking you get what you want um use a bobby pin at this point just to make sure it's secure um so nothing like gets loose in, by the second or third day you know it's always best to have enough bobby pins for this process and make sure obviously it's not showing Then to finalize it, I just use one more hair, elastic hair tie, or hair um, tie to just, you know, secure it in place. Just to make sure nothing falls off. <laughs> and keep just, keep playing around with it till you get the desired shape that you want. So I tied the scarf, I don't know why I didn't show that part, probably the video, the camera went off, 
but yeah just tie it you have to tie a scarf just to set the hair and make sure you know it presses down and now for the review I didn't show when I was doing my edges but obviously do your edges before you tie the scarf and there you go um, it's basically ready at this point you know if there's any other correction that you need to get done to it like maybe your edges or you know any other thing that you if you'd like to add more pins at some point do that just to make sure it's secure Here I'm using so for it just you know to curb my dandruff within hair. Uh, you can use any hair cream or hair oil that you'd like. Here I'm just using so for it. So I had to tie this calf back because I wanted to wear a turtleneck. So to be able to wear just to make sure like all my hard work doesn't go to vein just tie back the scarf and pass it through um the back of your head and make sure like there's enough space so that if you also have makeup on it doesn't get ruined and just make sure there's enough space and push it down voila there you go the hair is ready <laughs> it looks like the food is ready but yeah Hi. and there you go simple easy um low bun for type four to types type 4 here now look at this <laughs> this was not a right move just because I didn't do the back side very well so don't be like me all right thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed please like comment and um, subscribe and share